Hi everyone, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have a fantastic Valentine's collection from our friends at Penny Black. We've got stamps and we've got cutting dies. And when you put them together, make really sweet little Valentines like this one. We can't wait to show you what else we've come up with. So come back and play with us. So to make this first little hugs card, which I think is so fun, I used, well, first let me mention for the um, die here, they come attached with this little, tiny little piece of metal between them. And they're very easy to break apart. You just kind of work them like that and then they just separate, okay? So, for my five by six and a half inch card, let's talk about the background and then we'll talk about the coloring. So for the background card, I used this, this card is Dazzlem Vines. This is a new product for us. It comes pre-printed. This is a five by six and a half inch white card. And it comes pre-printed with this beautiful little oval vine. It's black ink. And what I did was, I think you get five. Yeah, you get five cards and five envelopes in there. It really is a little time saver when you're working on your background. I just took some uh, pink petal and a little dauber, or you could just use the surface of the ink pad to put this on and went around and colored probably the top two thirds of my card with that, all right? So let's do a little demo and then took my Red Hearts holographic paper, which is super Valentine's y and just like wow, Valentine's. And we took the die right here. And what I did is I cut my paper just a little bit larger than my card. And I'm gonna explain why. Once you do that, then you place your die where you want it to be. And then run it through your die cutting machine. Now you can then trim that so it's going to fit really any size card. Oops, little scissors. And what you're going to do is just sort of continue with that right there. And then you're going to go on this side and you're just going to go from the edge and continue that cut right there. That's easy enough. Then, gosh, where'd I put my loved one? Here it is. I hid it inside my card so it wouldn't get bent. So you die cut the hugs. I did this from white. And then you just are going to glue that and place that right there. So it gives this wonderful little shadow effect, okay, which is so great. And then I just used my little applicator bottle filled with Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. And I just put some dots. You don't need to put glue on every little bit of these. Just make sure you have glue on the parts that are like kind of, uh, I don't know, pointy. <laughs> The thin little parts right there. And then we're going to turn around, align that, and just, just touch that to put it down. That's, that's easy. All right, so then let's go ahead and ink our card. Oops, I don't want to forget my little needle in my applicator bottle. Are you guys enjoying these little applicator bottles? If you bought them, let me know in the comments. I sure am. All right, so we're going to take our ink ink, little applicator, and we're just going to go around like this. And I'm probably not going to do, well, maybe I'll do the whole card. Let's see how long it takes. Let's see how fast it can be. As you can see, I'm turning it and then just doing those circular motion here going off to the card center. And then to prevent having kind of a, a circle blob, I always kind of start from the edge of the card, work my way in. All right, let's see if that's good enough for our demo here. Let's see if we got up. Yeah, we did good. All right. So then I'm going to glue, oh wait, before I glue. So then I'm gonna color my little bears, which I'm gonna show you. And then I use some little scissors and cut them out. 
and then I just sort of tucked them, glued them right behind there, then glue this down, okay, and then turn it over and trim that even with your card edges. So you're gonna have a nice perfect fit. The worst is when you get everything done and you're like, oh man, I didn't cut it quite right. It's a little bit off, okay? Although that would look cool if it was like inset like that, so. All right, so let's take a look at the little bears. They are so cute, you guys. Look at these, this is the showered with love. So sweet, so I stamped that with an alcohol proof ink and I forgot to grab one but we have I'll list them down below there's Versamark um, there's also Memento and there's also Spectrum Noir alcohol proof ink so I'll list all those down below and then ooh, wow, I chose two shades of kind of a brown so we've got earth brown and then golden brown Tri-blend markers. If you're not familiar with tri-blend markers, there are three pens in one. There's a dark, a medium or mid, and then there's a light. Ooh, this one's drying up. Just like that. And it just gives a really beautiful ombre effect. The blending is really beautiful. So. I'm going to color um, probably just like the head of, of the bears here so you can get an idea of how I did this. I took the dark brown on this guy, kind of outlined here, kind of went around the top of his little, what do bears have? Do bears have muzzles? Um, right there and then right around here for the ears. Just getting those areas that are going to be shaded. Okay, then I took the medium or mid like this, it's kind of blended out that darker color. Here, there we go. And then I went to the lightest color. And then I did add some of that golden brown in there. I really wanted to lighten up his face, but I took the darkest shade, the golden brown, and you can absolutely mix pins. You don't have to stay in that same pin color. You wanna mix browns, mix browns. And then I'm just kind of going back and forth between my light brown and my golden brown, and I'm just blending those colors in. And then we're gonna go do a little muzzle on this guy. Wow, my pen is so dry. I think it gave up, gave up after I did my bears here. All right, so there's the one. And then for this little guy, using the golden brown, doing that same thing, just going with the darker color, going around the muzzle, going right down here, down here, side here, and then using that medium shade on the top, and using that medium to blend out the darker color. Okay, and then we're gonna go right to the light color. Squeaky, squeaky. And then just don't be afraid to like go over those dark colors and lighten those up a little bit. That was pretty much how I did those. All right, and so then I just took my tiny little scissors 
And I'm just cutting out, we really, sorry bears, we really don't need your legs. Okay, we're gonna go just like this. And when I'm cutting, I'm turning the paper. And the reason I'm not stamping directly on this card and coloring it and then coloring the rest pink, because I don't want it to bleed through to the inside of my card. So we look in here, no bleed. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm also using um, some Hunky Dory stamping paper and I'll list that down below, which really a nice thing to color on, okay? So once I get that done, I'm gluing that right behind the hugs, okay? So it's just kind of popping out from behind that. And then I get to add my greetings here. So we've got sending hugs, and then I love you, and that's coming from our primary color script greeting dazzle stickers. They're called primary because they've got yellow, red, and blue, and then we also added in green, brown, and black, just because we wanted to. And then I added some heart dazzle, red heart dazzle stickers, and some, these are cherry crystals and decorated right up there, just to add a little more glitz and fun to that. Okay, so that's that one down. Take a look at this one. So this pretty sparkly card, for my background, I started with red glitter cardstock cards. There's 10 in the pack with the envelopes. You just fold them, you're ready to go. They come just like this. But how beautiful to get this for Valentine's. Super sparkly. I used that same stamping paper, stamped my um, little greeting, and I forgot the greeting. This is from Flowers in Bloom stamp set, which I will also link. And then here's my cute little guy with his cute little watering can. So sweet. Happiness blooms within. And then I added right over here in the corner, added these tiny flowers and leaves number two cutting dies. So I did, got my little flowers and leaves here. I die cut those from a couple of shades of green. And then I die cut these little flowers right here from both um, glitter red cardstock. So you'll need an extra sheet of that and some pink. And then I added those little cherry colored crystals there. And then we don't want to forget about the red sparkle dazzles um, butterflies. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Just really cute and fun. All right, so next, I've got so much to show you today. We've got using the love die right here and this great, these are beautiful greetings for Valentine's Day. They're not overtly Valentine's, you know, they're not like happy Valentine's Day, but they're all family in love. I love you, nothing, not even time will change that side by side or miles apart. We will always be connected by the heart. One of your hugs would be nice right now. How cute. So these are, I think, great to also have in your toolbox. They will take you through the entire year. So for this card, Debbie used tulips and butterflies, 12 by 12 pattern cardstock for her background. And then she die cut the love right here and also matted her little greeting with the coordinating solid cardstock. So cute. And, oops, can I move that out of the way? And she used this sweet little butterfly six by six stencil. She laid this down right here and went ahead, I think she used this violet and khaki ink pads. So the violet to cover, color the butterflies here and here, a little bit here. And then for the chipboard right here, these beautiful tulips, we've got the violet right here and then using the khaki here. Just beautiful, did a great job on that. All right, so for the last card, got this one that Debbie did. Once again, using the love die. And she cut this one from a blank white card. Grab a blank white card. All right, so for this, you would put this with the love right across here. 
Uh, I don't have my loved one out, but let's try this. This one's for the hugs. You would put it right like this. Now, you could cut this down to six inches if you needed to put it through a six inch wide platform. She had has a nine inch wide platform at her desk for her die cutting machine, so she just used it like this, put it right through her die cutting machine. Then she used some beautiful blue and light blue ink pads to color her background, and then used this dark blue right here for the love, matted her little greeting there. And then, this is really cute, she used, this is the Versamark watermark pen. So it's like an embossing pen. I'm gonna show you how she made these little white embossed hearts all over. Just a great little tip. She just took this pen, just draw a little heart. I'm gonna make it a little larger so you can really see what's going on. And then, we're gonna take some white embossing powder. Ooh, just wanted to go right away there. Just gonna heat that up with the heat gun. There we go. See how that goes. And she just did that all over here with tinier hearts and then little dots up above. So cute. Let me show you another thing that Debbie did on her card. You can see here our little umbrella and the little hearts are glossy. That's so cute. And what she did was she used 3D crystal lacquer. If you're not familiar with that, here we go. It's this wonderful little liquid that you can just squeeze out and then just spread around. It's very thick. And what's great about this is you can do one layer of it, let it dry. Um, if you're gonna mail this, I would let it dry overnight. That way there's no sticky or tackiness to that. And you're gonna get this nice thick layer. You do these two when it dries. And you can even go back and do another layer if you want it super, super thick. And then it'll just kind of settle a little bit there. But yeah, isn't that a great little technique? Makes it look like it's a wet umbrella. I love what she did here. So you guys, we have a fantastic money saver on this really sweet Valentine collection. Would really encourage you to grab these. I think they're wonderful for year round. And there's nothing I like better than a versatile tool for my toolkit. So we have a money saver, it's on the right hand side of the screen. Um, if you want to shop one or two items for this and that, look down below the video. Everything can be added directly into your cart. If you're watching us on YouTube, we haven't forgot about you, look below the video in the description box and there's a link that'll take you to this Paper Bushes webisode page. You can see all the deals and the money saver. And hey, while you're there, a thumbs up really helps people find our channel. And subscribe, we do four to five videos and we'd hate for you to miss them every week. We'll see you next time.